Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Salem FSX 163 RDSKX. This unit has the Platinum package on it. It is a one slide out, smaller couple style coach. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Salem FSX. So as you've seen on the floor plan that was up, you have kind of a little rear desk area and a front bedroom setup. One small slide here. So against the rear wall, you're going to have your 12 volt Furion refrigerator. You have the refrigerator part on top, a freezer on bottom. You have electric box with the breakers and fuses down there. And then you have your propane furnace down here as well. You do have a couple drawers here at your desk area. They're full extending, ball bearing drawer guided drawers with little magnetic catches on the bottoms to hold them in place. There is a propane leak detector right down there. You do have your little desk area here. So you got a little roll around chair and there's also some more storage down there as well. Little Bluetooth speaker window to kind of look out as you're working that window does open fury on microwave up here pretty good amount of space up here as well magnetic catches on your cabinets there as well over here you're going to have your 30 amp charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel that's on the roof couple light switches, monitor panel for your holding tanks, awning and slide out button, water pump button, on demand water heater controls. Do you have a little seat that I'm sitting down in here? It has a little kick up footrest. We'll spin around and show you that here shortly. Uh, so you have six drawers over here as well. And you also have a two burner propane stove top with a flip up and down glass lid. There is a high-rise faucet over there, a single undermount sink here. This window over here opens. You have TV hookups here in case you want to do a small TV here. You also have a little vent fan or little vent there. Some storage space here. It looks like that's a brain box right there for your slide system. Some more storage under your sink area as well. Goes back there pretty far actually. Now in your slide out is basically a sofa. It's a small jackknife sofa that will flip out. So you could sleep a short adult or a couple kids on there. And then it has two little foot rests as well. There's a little table that you can remove, one for each arm. I put one of them out so you can kind of see that as well. And then all three of these windows do open. So just kind of looking at our roof line here again, you got your Coleman AC right there. It is ducted. Smoke detector up there as well. All vinyl floor. Now going up a little further, we're going to have the bathroom area right here. So over here on the right, we got our foot flush toilet, little sink area, Medicine cabinet, a window in here as well. This opens a little better when you actually have the door closed. But you have sliding doors for privacy of your bathroom area. Now there is AC duct up there, a little vent fan up there, skylight up above. ABS tub surround, pull across little vinyl curtain deal going on. Step and shower. But overall, a nice little couple's coach here. And here is your bedroom area. 
So you have a window on this side that opens, electric outlet, USB charger ports, hanging closet, big windshield, overlook in the front of the RV. There's also an electric outlet back there in the closet too. Window over there, TV hookups over here as well. Electric outlet, USB charger port, and again, another electric outlet in that closet too. Now the bed will raise up, as you can see right here. So right there, you have some little cubbies at kind of the foot of the bed area, but it will also get you into the storage compartment area as well. You can see some of the little goodies there that that customer is going with. Uh, you know, a little backup camera, a uh, looks like a surge protector and some hitching and stuff down there. So if you are new to camping, those are some little odds and end things you might consider talking with your salesperson about whether you need them or not where you're going. All right, we're going to head back outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV real quick. And then we're going to come back in and close it up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Salem FSX 163 RD SKX here. Starting here on the door side of the RV. So this one again was ordered with the Platinum package, which takes it from an aluminum sided RV to a fiberglass sided RV. You have basically a light gray fiberglass exterior when doing the Platinum package. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV right there. Manual override in the front arm head. There is a small little griddle right here. And just down below is your gas line hookup right down here. You can see you have four heavy duty scissor jacks, one on each corner. Right there is a plug-in for a portable solar panel that will give you extra wattage compared to just the standard 200 water that's on the roof you'll see here shortly. You have tinted safety glass windows. There's an electric outlet here, hot and cold outside utility shower right here, fresh water tank fill up right here. You have single axle, drum brake, easy loop hub, the heavy duty more ride entry exit step here, large folding entry handle. You have that black tinted safety glass entry exit door. And this also has the window in it. You can kind of see through there a little bit, but it also has that Lippert thin shade. You hear me mention all the time saying you got to buy it aftermarket. It actually has it in there. On around to the back side here, you can see traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. You have your spare tire mounted on the back, traditional four inch square two bumper, the on-demand water heater located right here, the furnace exhaust out right here as well. Now the unit comes prepped for a rear observation camera by Furion. This one, the customer chose to already put it on there. So you're seeing the camera actually in the video here. And then it also has prepping for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. That's a nice feature to consider adding. It's a telescoping ladder that you basically can throw in the storage compartment when you're not using it, but you have it available when needed. Detachable power cord here. It is 30 amp electric service. City water inlet right here, cable inlet right here, and the black tank flush also located right here. Slide out is a 12 volt powered slide. You'll see us close that up here shortly. Now the slide out is prepped for Solaire slide topper. It is an awning that rolls in and out with the slide when you open and close it. So it helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff, and just kind of keeps things nice and tidy up there. Down below right here is hot and cold low point water drains. There is also your black and gray tank flush, or not flush, but dump right here as well. Now you can kind of see up under there, there is an enclosed underbelly as well. 
Here we have storage area. Now this customer also is doing a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch system you're seeing in here. Um, you can see that's the back side of the little cabinet there. Baggage door held up by a magnetic holder instead of a plastic clip. And then right here we have some important informational stickers. So let's start right here with this production date sticker. This tells me the RV was built 125 of 24. Model number 163 RDSKX. Has a gross vehicle weight of 5,725 pounds. It's the most you can load it up to. Axle weight, hitch weight combined don't exceed that. You have a dry weight of 4,672 pounds according to the factory when this rolled off the assembly line. Exterior length, 22 feet, 11 inches. ST22575R15 E range tire with an 80 PSI cold. Very, very important to keep up with that tire pressure, by the way. Now you can see here, this has a really nice kind of bubbled out fiberglass front shell with that big windshield you've seen when we were inside as well. It's kind of cool looking. Lower diamond plate metal down at the bottom part. There's room for one or two batteries to go back here. It comes with zero from the factory, uh, but you will most likely at least get one from your dealer, hopefully. Uh, I know Couch's RV Nation does come with one automatically from them. And then right there, you're gonna have the battery disconnect there as well. Heavy duty safety chain, seven way barman plug, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, and a power tongue jack with built-in light and manual override. Now, normally there is a single 20 pound propane tank right here in the front. This customer wanted to do two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard cover. So it's a little different than what you would normally see rolling out of the factory. All right, let's head back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. Oh, wait, hold on one second. We forgot, I wanted to show you the roof. Let's check that out here real quick. I got the old uh, handy portable roll around ladder thing here. Let's jump up here real quick and you can see what the roof kind of looks like right here. So you can see over here, air conditioner, little vent fan, solar panel, TV antenna right up there. There's skylights, plumbing stack vents, some different stuff up there. Very, very important guys to make sure that you get up there from time to time and check that stuff out. All right, let's go inside and close her up. All right, we are now back up inside the brand new 2024 Salem FSX 163RDSKX here. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to obviously make sure nothing's in the way of the slide. So that means that little desk chair, you gotta find something to do with it. I just kind of moved it out of the way, stuck it up there on the bed for the moment. But some people choose to, you know, flip it over, strap it down to the couch, or maybe move it into the bathroom area or bedroom area when they're traveling. But when you are ready to close it, you have to come right back here to your slide button. And we're going to hit the button. This is a 12 volt powered slide. So as long as you got a good charged up battery, you should be able to roll this thing in and out pretty easily. Now, if you don't mind, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you don't mind helping out my channel, much appreciated. Also, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. So, there it is. It's closed up. You can see I still have room to come through here. I can kind of turn sideways here and squeeze through here to come into my bedroom or use my bathroom. So if I'm stopping at a rest area or something, I still have a decent amount of access throughout the RV. But I can come in if I'm stopping at a grocery store along the way and actually load my fridge. I'm ready to go back out. I'm just going to hit the button again and take it right on back out. And you can see when it closes up, it's still snug in here. 
So you got to make sure your cabinet doors and drawers and everything are all closed up. The floor is clean so you don't accidentally run something over and break it. All right, folks. Thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. Greatly appreciated.